the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Moisturising Primer. I'm just going to apply like two pumps all over my face with my hand. I've just got my eyebrows done, I've not applied anything else. Thing I'm going to go in with, it's like kind of came off on there, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Primer. I'm just going to apply this like so. I really love how um, good this is with the foundation. It looks really, really nice. So I thought for a Christmas collab then we will place this on my face. I know it works really well. So, and I was thinking about doing like a silver. And then the next thing I'm going to go in with is the, so I'm gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury and I use the shade three neutral. And I just pumped about two pumps onto the back of my hand. And I'm just going to blend this out again with my Beauty Blender. How is everyone doing? Is everyone like finished their Christmas shopping? I still need to get quite a few things but I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything for Christmas so I'm not in like a major rush. So this is how dewy and like flawless my skin looks. I'm going to get really close so you guys can see. I really love this foundation. It is expensive. I think it's like 34 or 35 pounds. But if I want something that I know is going to work really well on my skin and I've got like a busy day ahead or something like that, I really would recommend this foundation. And with the XX Revolution Concealer in 0.2, I'm going to go quite heavy with my concealer because I do want this to be a full coverage look. This with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. So I'm just going to set like probably my full face and definitely um, in the areas where I tend to get oily which is like my T-Zone Complexion Brush. I'm just going to dab this all around my face. Into another brush which is just like a primer dual ended brush. It just looks like this on one end and that. Um, I do really like this powder I think it is really good I wasn't gonna buy it and then um, someone in Alex Kate's patreon group has like a discount so that's why I was kind of tempted to buy it I do really want to get like the full-size bronzer from them so yeah I'm setting like my full face And next I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I'm just going to really warm up and contour my skin. So 
So that is my skin kind of bronze and contoured. I used light and medium in the Cocoa Contour Too Faced palette. I'll be using the Tartlet in Bloom palette and some glitter on my eyes. So I'm going to grab this Morphe 433 brush and this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is the front and then inside is all the cool toned colours. So I'm going to go into the shade Smarty Pants, which is like this cool toned light brown. And I'm just going to apply this into my crease. And I'm winging it out as well because I'm going to create like a full on cut crease to put the glitter on. It looks a mess but I will sort it out. in with I've just blended the two out it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously we're cutting the crease anyways and then I'm going to go in and apply jet setter which is this top shade here there and it's going to apply this over the top just to deepen it up a little bit in the crease so when I cut it you can see that dark line again it doesn't have to be perfect and um, it's just so we can like, deepen it up for the crease Right, so now I'm going to cut the crease with my Morphe 432 brush and then I'm going to go in with the same concealer I used on my face, which is the XX Revolution one. So that's how I've cut my crease, it just looks like that and I know it looks a bit crazy at the minute but we will sort it out and make it a bit more like obviously cohesive. So I'm going to go off camera, do my other cut crease and then I will come back into the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light in the shade Sensor and just apply this just literally on the place where I've cut the crease and it's so easy. You just build it up to the colour that you want. So I am going to go into the concealer on my beauty blender and I'm just going to see if I can get the edges to be like a bit more like straight, like yeah straight. So I am back, I've just applied my lashes, you know what, I really do like this look now that I've applied lashes and just, I've put like, yeah, so I really do enjoy this look with some lashes on, I think it's really nice, really fun and just super easy, um, I'll probably apply things differently next time but just for like an easy glitter cut crease eye, I think that's perfect. I'm going to add a bit of colour. Um, and this is the Makeup Obsession Ocean Eyeliner Pencil. This is a collaboration with Tiffany. And I'm just going to go into this with my waterline. I'm just going to go into my waterline with this blue. So 
So I've just applied the blue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks really nice. It's just a subtle pop of colour. Um, but yeah. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is just this Bose Beauty white pigment. It looks like this. And I'm just going to apply this to my inner corner and then also my brow bone. So that's how it looks. And then we're going to go in to glow stick in the shade Rosé. Um, as you know, I apply it to the back of my hand like so. For my lips, it wouldn't be a Christmas look without a red lip. So I'm going into the NYX pencil in hot red. So I'm going to apply this all over my lips. So that is hot red applied to my lips. And then the next thing is a MAC lipstick, which is in MAC Red. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. So this is MAC Red applied to my lips. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look and give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below something you liked about this look or what you would like me to do next. And also subscribe if you can. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.